Oh gosh, damn it. Da no! No. When I first walked in, that was Lefroy. I know. Sneaky I bastard. It the first episode. Damn it. Like you realize you are subverting the will of everybody who voted and pays their time to watch this channel and vote their will and they all decided and you're standing against them like finger in the dam thwarting the will of the people you don't feel even a little bit bad about that <laughs> the people love me <laughs> it'll be okay okay Welcome to the Whiskey it's Vault. the occasional person that comes to me and says specifically that I bring them joy mm, by putting okay. the Lafroig up there. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Emma. <laughs> and uh, this is a gift from the Magnificent Bastards, Dan Bingham and Jen Kendrick. Bingham and Jen Kendrick. Yeah. Dan Bingham and Jen Kendrick. You magnificent bastards! All right, this is Detroit City Distillery Butcher's Cut Bourbon Single Barrel. Hmm. Bottled for, it just has a something liquor. It says Royal, it's really hard to read. They have the Mashville in there too. Royal something liquor. Yeah, 68% corn, 27 rye, five roasted barley. Yeah, can I see it? Well, let me pour first. Ah! Give me a second. Ah! We can at least have whiskey in the glass. Roasted barley in this thing, which I think is really cool because we get malts that have roasted barley in them, but it's rare to get bourbons that have roasted barley in them. Have you, did you specifically pick single barrels? No, this is literally just the order that they've been donated in. Hmm. But this is also a single barrel. What's the proof? 116. 116, Whew, that's much higher. John P. Jerome uh, is the master distiller at this place. It's almost three years old. Double barrel, I wonder what he means by double barrel. Getting that like dried prairie grass. Yeah. Of. Yeah, me too. Right now, all I'm getting is that dried herbal prairie grass and wood tea. tannin tea, like black tea. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to smell the roasted barley, but I'm not getting it in the nose. Hopefully it shows up in the yeah. palate. This is batch one, bottle 62. Right now, all I'm getting is a very simple, straightforward herbal tannic bourbon. Yeah. Is that all you're getting? No outliers, no real major faults, just say more simple. Caramel than vanilla. Yeah. Than... Uh I don't know. I'm I'm wanting the last few that had I'm wanting more to be here in the nose than there is. Mm -hmm. But let's try it because the other two were disappointing palettes but interesting yeah. noses. Let's see if that changes. Oh, there we go. Mm, almost. Oh. And now it's coming back. That was a journey. <laughs> that went soft. Yeah. And then it sort of opened up into wood oil and yeah, you getting that? Yeah. And then it started to disappear and get kind of flat pretty quickly. But then the aftertaste is now coming all back. This one has a lot of dark cherry in it, which I really like. Yeah. On the palate. This one, the palate is, is way more drama and changed three or four times for me. Like graham cracker on mm -hmm. the back of the palate. The cherry. Oh, now go back to the nose. And there it is. Once you take your first sip and you're getting retro nasal smells as well as glass smells, now the nose cracks open a little bit more. A little more spice and lemon. Yeah, baking spices, mm -hmm. cinnamon, clove. Now I feel like I'm finding what he might have been aiming for. I was not getting that when we opened the bottle. I like this one. I'm gonna add a little water, and I mean drops of water to this. You want any water? Sure. It's very Christmassy. Like yeah, a, now. A, that clove, the cherry, citrus, almost like putting a 
pot of all the different like cinnamon sticks and orange slices and the Oh, that you boil on the stove? You put on the stove top oh. and it smelled like that's kind of what it reminds me of. I love those. The first time I get fall weather where it's a chill and not just like, oh, it's cooler this morning before it gets hot, but there's an actual chill in the air. Yeah. One of the first things I do is create that concoction and boil it on the stove. Nice. Just to feel like we've arrived in fall. Yeah. And now that you've said that, that's really all I can smell. Is that stovetop concoction, Me too. cinnamon stick, clove, orange slices, and the outdoorsy smells. Mm -hmm. like if you, have ever I gotta been say, in the north during the fall and all the like dried and dead leaves. Mm -hmm. and, I miss fall. I feel like I yeah, can't well, you're saying that especially right now because it's been brutal heat for the last yeah. two weeks in August. Yeah. Uh, I am not finding that roasted barley at all. And yeah. I am bummed about that. It makes me think that when they did the cuts, they cut narrow enough that we're getting really good flavors, but so narrow that they left out some of the smoked notes that could have made it through. Yeah. Yeah, that feels like a narrower heart cut. If it was smoked, it's subtle. I'm also curious what specialty roasted barley. He said, mm -hmm. um, Somewhere, I think it said the actual kind of barley. Hmm. No, just roasted barley malts. You know, it says where it came from. Um, barley from Pilot Malt House in Kent County, but not what kind of barley. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. With water. Oh, it flattened out the palate. With water, the palate just sort of became this homogenous thing. Yeah. Way better without water. Definitely. I liked it better as is. At 58%. Yeah. That's high. It's good though. You got comments? All right. So Norman Lang asks, does Daniel just go around chewing on random stuff to come up with all these bizarre tasting notes like sweet rubber? <laughs> No. Where do you get sure those things that? from? I did say sweet rubber one time, but I'm thinking of mostly when I'm comparing things, I'm thinking of smells, not tastes. That's true. I do the same thing. Yeah. And sweet rubber for me is when you were a kid and you got the toy like in the Happy Meal or like the throwaway squishy rubber and you squeezed it and the air came out of it and it was rubbery, but smelled sweet mm -hmm. for some reason. I used to sit there and just smell that over and over because <laughs> I loved the way it smelled. That's what it, yeah, but it smells. That's the thing is, my references are smells. Although, I, and Eric Waite and I talked about this, and you've done this, found things that people described and gone, I don't even know what that is, and then gone to see if you can find it in a store so mm -hmm. that you could have a reference point for it. What's yeah. something you did like that? Hmm. I honestly can't even think of the name right now, but there was some kind of spice. I'm, I don't love cooking, so I don't, I'm not very creative. So like something like fennel mm. or what's the other fenugreek. one? Fenugreek. Fenugreek? Mm -hmm. No idea. I don't know what that smells like. Um, so I just bought some and smelled it. Mm -hmm. I definitely go around smelling a lot of random things. That's true. Just like, <laughs> if you're walking around with Emma periodically, she'll disappear and be off smelling a plant. Like, oh, this looks true. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ikiru Yamamoto asked, we get a Tennessee whiskey review on National Scotch Whiskey Day? Yeah, we, I, we really did do really, that. Really, Daniel? Oh, yeah. That wasn't me, that wasn't the question. Yeah, mm-hmm. By the way, tomorrow is send your free 300 plus bottle of whiskey backlog to my house day. Oh, is it? We'll probably review a bourbon on that day. <laughs> 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 we we never pay attention. Scotch? to small random holidays that aren't a holiday. Unless the banks are closed, we don't acknowledge it. And even National then- National Scotch Whiskey Day even is then not we, some we regularly minor forget. holiday. We forgot it was Thanksgiving one time when we were doing a review and we didn't do the math and realize what we were shooting was gonna come out on Thanksgiving <laughs> day. We had to like scramble and figure something else out. Oh, why? We're bad at that. Because there's too many other things going on. No, and no, we're no, just like, trying to- Why couldn't you just- Play whatever was coming up on Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, I don't know. People get weird about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you outraged for him that we didn't do scotch? Yes. 
<laughs> Where were you to solve that problem? Oh, not bringing no. Lafroig. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts? I just really enjoyed this one. It reminds me of fall. Mm. So. All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with, with us. That was better. Good timing. I thought about the pause. Mm-hmm.